Hello everyone. Before the video starts, I want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone who's been supporting me as a musician and as a creator in general. 2018 regarding my channel has been the best year for me, um, but it definitely has been one of my best. As you know, I did change up how I made videos going from a more Geometry Dash gaming channel into a music channel where I post tutorials, my music, and etc. So, to still have people who enjoy me for what I am, even after I made that big switch, really brings a big smile to my face, even though I know most people came here because of the stupid ass Geometry Dash videos or whatever I used to post. And if there's anything else that you would like to see more on my channel, feel free to ask. Like, if it's a game that you're wanting to see, maybe I'll post it. Maybe I'll just play it and upload that. If it's a certain song or like a remix that you want me to make, I'll be ex extremely happy to make that for you. But anyway, let's get into the video. Hello everyone, so welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing you a Farouche style tutorial. So if you have been looking on my channel for the last uh, three months or so, you'll see I've been doing quite a lot of collabs with a man named Farouche, and he is extremely good at producing dubstep. So I have done about four collabs with him so far, and I have come to know him as an amazing producer that I would always love to have a chance to collaborate with him. So what Faroj mainly makes, he makes um, a glitch hop, a uh, spag heady type track, and that's what he normally adds with uh, a lot of instruments, a cute or happy-ish lead, uh, a lot of a lot of a lot of tom fills, I'll be honest, and quite a, quite an interesting and fast drop so so what I did uh, for the melody I just simply added filters and volume automations to go up and before the middle verse or bridge or whatever the hell you call this uh, the part before the build-up uh, he normally likes to add drum fills with no instruments whatsoever and I decided to do that with a getter drum roll which I thought really fit in so here is the intro in its entirety. Alright, so one thing I did do was add a snare right before it because I could just add a snare and just have it and he normally does that. I decided to add a drum roll and a snare because he does one of the two and I don't think I've ever seen him do both so I decided to give it a roll and instead of just having this uh, this drum roll just it sounded a bit band bland so I added a pitch down automation and that kind of brings a bit more to it so most of the time, he likes snares with long tails. Now that doesn't have too much of a long tail, but come on, give me a break. So in the bridge or the verse, I'm I added the same leads, piano, and the pluck melody as I added in the beginning, and also added this bass, this mid bass. And he, we usually use that. We used one on the press start remix, and uh, you gotta have a sub. So one thing that he always uses is an offbeat pluck, cause it's, I mean, it's dubstep. And I don't know exactly how he does his. I've even tried to do it, like we did it in the Vuke and uh, press start remix, but in Vuke uh, reset, he uses it as more of a melody instead of a pluck. And in press start, I think we just like said fuck it and just used something else. So in the oof beat pluck, um, here is uh, how it sounds. Oof. 
most of the time, Faroge would just use Massive for the cords, for the plugs, I mean, and I, in my opinion, that sounds so much better, but I do, I don't have Massive, so I can't do that, and whoop de doo Faroge uses his own presets, and guess what, I don't, so I'm sitting over here with my WA production and my virtual Riot um, leads. He makes his own samples. We use his own samples and the Buke reset remix. Anyway, let's go to the build up. It's a basic build up, it's not really nothing important. Alright, so in the in the in the build up, I he doesn't he doesn't normally add snare fills. Normally, uh, in the view remix, we used a snare right before your drop, so it's like so he would have it like this. But I decided not to do that. Instead, just either have it like this. Or just the the normal fill. So yet again, let's go over to the drop and see how he wonderfully crafted it, or should I say, how I crafted it. So I have three different types of growls that I used. One as a basic main growl, and one as a wobble. And one as more of a melodic instrument. And I did this to mainly just clear everything up and separate it into just three different uh, sections. And pretty much what I did, I did uh, main wobbling, melodic, main wobble, longer melodic. And that's pretty much what I repeat throughout this. How Faroge does his drops is first he has just a normal catchy intro drop and then he usually switches it into more of a triplet heavy based drop and more of a melodic old back heady type here's the transition from the first drop into the second drop and as you can already see you can see the triplets and how much um, they really play a part into the grooviness <laughs> Uh, that's pretty much how his songs are made. Uh, he, I can tell he likes Glitch Hop a lot more because it's more melodic and more groovy. And he usually, he usually tends to use triplets. Um, I don't like using triplets mainly because most of the songs I make are more melodic and not groovy. Using triplets are very, very much used for grooviness. And I'll show you a, uh, a demonstration from the Cosmos pack. Uh, you know, I'll leave a link to that, maybe, I don't know. Um, and here's a normal drum loop, and I'll show you another drum loop in, uh, in triple mode. So, as you can tell, it's just like a straight up bland dubstep drop, and here is a triple mode. As you can tell, it's a lot more groovy, mainly because of the hi hats. He does use that with his hats, his growls, and even sometimes instruments. So, I'll leave Faroge's information in the description below, like his YouTube, his SoundCloud, and his Newgrounds. Make sure to go check him out, he's an amazing producer. I would love to work on him more in the future, but anyway, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.